Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. More than 30 people have been arrested on federal charges in connection with last week's deadly riots at the U.S. Capitol. The FBI is now warning of potential armed protests in all 50 states heading into Inauguration Day, which happens on Wednesday. Here to talk about all of this is senior analyst for strategy at the Center for Security and Policy, J. Michael Waller. Uh, Mr. Waller, thank you for being with us. I read your op-ed uh, and I want to read uh, our viewers your very first line because this is this is pretty compelling stuff. You say, quote, the deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol bore all the markings of an organized operation planned well in advance of the January 6th joint session of Congress. So tell us about what your reporting has. Uh, what have you learned through your reporting? It was really it was personal observations at the at the protest. It was a it was a general average normal protest of just Americans who were out there to have a cause and but it was really happy and and even though they were upset with Congress there was no no anger nobody was incited where the incitement came it was very visible it was there were it were from where I was standing on the west front of the Capitol there were four different cells that were operating these were organized cadre of people who were put there for the purposes of organizing a riot uh, one of them was in in the very front it was people who were dressed pretty much similarly in MAGA and pro-Trump clothes who were yeah. there and organized to fight the police. That was the first one. Unlike everybody else, they were angry and they were they were aggressive. The second one was groups in the back that were yelling for people to push forward, concentrate all the people as they're coming in from the march by the thousands. So those would to, be the provocateurs. To them all together. Yeah, those were the agents provocateurs. Right. They were coming in and they were telling people, don't leave, don't leave. Then they'd swear at you and, and abuse you if you tried to turn around and leave, even when people were being tear gassed. The third group were people who didn't just fit in at all. They they were dressed like Trump supporters, but they didn't act it. They acted like like troublemakers who, who didn't fit in. And those, I suspected, were left-wingers who were there to cause trouble. And the fourth group were uniformed, in, wearing camouflage uniforms or subdued clothes and helmets who were organized and who came together at the last minute in a single column to actually invade the Capitol building. Yeah, it's fascinating. Just looking at the, and I've covered uh, peaceful rallies for President Trump um, throughout his time in office, and it, just the, the caliber of people that we saw, many of whom you just described. Um, we've all seen the photos of Viking Man. We've seen the guy who was wearing the fatigue, zip tie guy, who was in the, uh, on the House floor climbing the seats with zip ties in his hand. Uh, and we've seen the, uh, the gentleman who's since been arrested who had his feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk, stole her mail. Big mistake there, among the many other mistakes that he made that day. Um, talk about some of these plain clothes militants that you observed. Um, it, not what you would normally see at a protest or even a, a, a rally or a riot. You know, at any huge gathering of people and where people are, are out on the streets and where they might be new to the city, like Washington, D.C., where I've lived for so many years and seen a ton of protests, these guys were organized to cause trouble. They were the ones who went in and pushed down the, the, uh, the original uh, fences or barriers and actually chased the, the, the few police that were standing away. They came organized to cause trouble. Yeah. It's not like the president or anybody else had gotten them all riled up and they just went crazy. They went there for the purpose of being destructive. You know, what's interesting, Michael, I've yet to see, and back when reporters did actual reporting, you know, you'd go to the Washington Post or you'd go to the New York Times or whatever, and you'd see a timeline of events. President Trump started speaking shortly after 11 o'clock Eastern. We now know for a fact that there were people at the Capitol while President Trump was speaking a mile away uh, from the U.S. Capitol. That has been proven. That's no longer longer up for dispute. Uh, the point I'm making is how could the president have possibly incited this violence that we ultimately saw last Wednesday if there were people already at the Capitol, if they were planning to do this way ahead of time? Right. That's the whole issue of it. The, the fact that people are, are saying that he incited it when the people weren't incited. I was walking about three blocks behind the very first people going up to the uh, to the Capitol, so I didn't see everything there up close. But you had a, a content bunch of Americans who, yes, they were upset with Congress, and they were they were chanting slogans against Pelosi or Biden or whoever else. But that's like it would be in any protest. They weren't there to cause trouble. 
they were even picking up litter and somebody would drop a, you know, a candy wrapper or something. Somebody else would be behind them to pick it up just like a, a normal citizen would who cared about town. And that's how 99.9 .9 of the people were. They were, they were friendly. They were sometimes almost festive. They were taking a lot of pictures. They were not organized to cause any trouble. Yeah. Somebody did the organization in advance. Very interesting stuff, and I, I wish that there was uh, an investigation that was thorough and complete before we went ahead and, and did a drive-by impeachment uh, two days ago at that same U.S. Capitol. we got to leave it there. Michael Waller, thank you so much. The article is what I saw leading up to the Capitol attack. This was a very interesting um, article that you wrote. We appreciate your time. Okay.